Fusion Pro Glide Power with Flexi Ball from Gillette. Hey guys, this is my review on the Fusion Pro Glide Power with Flexi Ball Razor from Gillette. Now they have a non power variant of this one as well, but I've been using this for the last two or three years, and I don't know if you can tell it's sort of a little you know, used, a little worn out. There you go. Um, so I just thought I'll make a review on this one now. Prior to this one, I used to use the Pro Glide or Pro version, the Fusion Pro Glide Power, which basically I've had this out here just for the sake of comparison. They look the exact same. They both have a power and a non-power variant. I got the power variant. Turn them off. Um, exact same razors. Um, the only difference is this one's this one doesn't have a flexi ball, so it doesn't rotate. This one does. So as you can see, it goes nice and smooth around the edges and the contours of your face gives you a much more comfortable shave on this one so i've never paid much attention to my shaving you know i would run to the shower um, after my bath i would have a quick shave i didn't pay much attention to this one and i was not very particular about having the best razor because this just did the job really well and i only cared about having a good shave and a good aftershave and not having enough nicks or cuts or anything of that sort. That's what was really important for me. So I usually am someone who changes my razors as and when my blades get blunt and when my uh, cartridges are about to run out, I will run to, um, you know, your Woolworths or Kohl's, your supermarket and just grab a fresh pack of these and that's it. Simple life. So I decided to make a review on this one because they're really, really good. Now, I, ran I randomly started looking at where I can find the razors for cheaper because they are a little expensive, these guys. Um, so I started looking at more into what makes these razors so good as well. So I went to Gillette Australia's website um, and discovered that they had a few different types of razor cartridges. Um, now, I'll be trying some other well-known brands in Australia as well, because I've never used anything else apart from Gillette, just because, you know, that taught me how to shave. He used a Gillette. Um, I've only used Gillette. So I want to try other products, see if, you know, there's anything else that's worth it or comparable, so to say. Um, but yeah, let's talk about the handle. So as you can see, nice, grippy, whether you're going with the grain, against the grain, it's just really nice and grippy. Feels great in the hand. Um, it's got a little bit of weight to it as well. Um, now, the power variants in particular work with a AAA battery. And if your battery runs out, it's really, really easy to change. And they just click. And that's it. And it works. Now, the interesting thing I found about these guys is something I didn't pay attention to much. So you put this back on and it just clicks where it should you know you don't have to make any minor adjustments nothing of that sort it's very basic very effortless like your shave should be you shouldn't have to give it too much thought it should just work um, now I usually would buy these from the supermarket um, I have looked up places where you can get them for slightly cheaper so look up chemist warehouse look up the shaver shop you'll save a dollar or two they are a little cheaper and if you're getting more cartridges the more you get the cheaper the cartridges are um, now when you buy this razor from the supermarket that's where i picked them up from it comes with this stand 
it just sits in there nice and easy just clicks so you leave it maybe in the shower or wherever you leave them um, it's pretty good if you're someone that travels as well so if you're traveling with these you know just leave it in there bang done if you think you're going to be traveling for a longer duration and you need um, you know to change your cartridges the cartridge pack that you can buy from Gillette actually can stick right under the stand and I'm a sucker for these things so I like when you plan your product so well that it works with its accessories and things of that sort so if you're traveling so if I'm traveling for a month that's it that's my shaving kit um, it's what I like about these guys in particular now like I said I looked up uh, Gillette's website the razor I use is the fusion 5 pro glide manual razor now this one has five blades at the front and this one blade at the back that they call the precision trimmer and it's got one lubricant strip on the top now they have four other variants that go uh, with this or any in most of the Gillette handles um, so there is this one there is a pro shield razor blade now the difference between these and the pro shield ones are the pro shield razor blades have a loop strip a strip on top as well as the bottom there's a pro shield chill razor version which i think is meant to give you a cool or a chill feel after you're done with your shave um not really fussed about them because I'm actually comfortable with this one. This one works really well. The other two are slightly more expensive. So I've never actually bothered trying those. The one I'm really keen to actually try is the fourth one. It's called the Skin Guard version. I've actually gone out and got a pack of four cartridges. So they are the same. Really easy to sort of click. So for the sake of comparison, again, I just have these two out. Um, and I'm going to use it with my standard um, Gillette handle. So the key difference between these two is, as you can see, this one's got five blades. Because this one's got just two blades. Now, I've not personally tried this one or any of the other handles. Uh, I mean, the other cartridges. So I'll do a separate review on that one. But I won't waste too much time on this at the moment. Okay. So... They shave really well. The precision trimmer at the back, this is something that you'll find available in all their variants. It's really good to uh, get, you know, to shave places that are hard to reach. So, for example, you could want to shave your sideburns for the guys that want to trim their beard under their neck or just on the cheek. That's fantastic. Under the nose, um, I like it. Now, the power option let's talk about the power option now i've never used something that's a non-power version with the gillette razors um so i've always been used to these and i prefer the power option um you could use the non-power version as well i think it comes down to pure preference whatever you like you like something with power without power use what you're comfortable with use what you're used to Personally, I am just more comfortable and I feel like they give me a nicer and a closer shave. So I used to think it's a gimmick. Even the whole flex ball thing, I thought it was a gimmick, but it's actually really good. So as you go down your contours, it does give you a slight pivot and you don't really know the difference till you go back. I did go back to this one, you know, just for the sake of it. Okay, I've got this razor sitting in the house doing nothing. Let me go back to it. I did feel the difference because I'm just used to running this effortlessly and this just pivots and turns whereas this one I had to be a little more careful with so there you go that does the difference it works Gillette if you're listening it works um, like I said I like to get a little technical with things sometimes and you know I like the fancy whistles and um, uh, features about products so yeah that's that the power version i tried it with the power turned off 
and I usually go small strokes. Worked well, it shaved well. I didn't particularly see much in terms of the difference. And then I turned it back on and it was a lot smoother. I'm not sure if it's because it gives you a vibration on the hand and it takes your attention away from the face or it does actually, you know, give you those light pulses that it's meant to give you on your face. But um, yeah, personally, I prefer this better than the non-power variant. Final verdict. It's a fantastic product. I've been using this for ages now. Um, you know, it's something that I just bought without too much thought and it just worked. You know, I really, really like it. Um, like I said, I've been using these cartridge razors in particular for about five to six years now. Prior to that, I used to use the Mark III as my, you know, beard got thicker. The Mark III three blades couldn't handle it, so I shifted to five blades. And then I moved to this one. No problems whatsoever. Um, like I said, it does the job really well. My only issue with these are they are a little more expensive. So, Gillette, if you can sort of reduce the pricing on it, do something about the price on these bad boys. It'll make it a 10 out of 10 for me. You know, I used to think the whole flexi ball thing, the power thing is a gimmick. But no, it works really, really well. Um, if you're after a good cartridge razor, I definitely recommend this one. Fusion Pro Glide Power with Flexi Ball. Um, and that's it. So guys, thanks so much for watching the video. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And that way when I drop the next video, it's there for you to see. Now, if you've got any questions about this razor or if you want me to try different razors, feel free to leave a comment below. And that's it. Until next time.